very good morning. Welcome to our worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you, and also with you. Very good morning on this, the 26th of July, for our service of Holy Communion at home. I hope you've managed to um, get some bread or some wine uh, or some juice just to share together in our spiritual communion. And um, we're looking forward to having communion in church um, at some point soon in the future. And it's been lovely to see folk worshipping together. Uh, we're going to start off with a solid good hymn, Thy Hand, O God, Has Guided. Sin pardoned and restored Was all in their sense folded One church, one faith, one Lord Thy mercy will not fail us nor leave thy work undone. With thy right hand to help us, the victory shall be won. And then by men and angels thy name shall be adored. And this will be their anthem one church, one faith, one Lord. Well, let's begin our worship together with the prayers of preparation. You should have this on your service sheet that was emailed out yesterday. Let's say together. Loving Lord, fill us with your life-giving, joy-giving, peace-giving presence, that we may praise you now with our lips and all the day long with our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The world belongs to God the earth and all its people. How good and how lovely it is 
to live together in unity. Love and faith come together, justice and peace join hands. If the Lord's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. So we come to the prayers of penitence when we say sorry for what's gone wrong, for where we've wronged each other and God. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. We say together, Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, as forgiven people, let's say the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And our collect for today, the collecting prayer. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, craft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, our first reading is from Isaiah 44, 6 to 8. So I'm going to hand over to the experts, to Jesse, to Reuben and Rose. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God who is like me. Let them proclaim it, let them declare it, and set it forth before me. Who has announced from the old for things to come? Let them tell us what it is yet to be. Do not fear or be afraid. I have not told you from on, of old and declared it. You are my witness. Is, is there any good besides me? Is there no other rock? I know not one. Thank you guys. So we've, we're coming to our psalm, and um, you should have had the little response. J 
Jess is going <laughs> to... I'm always singing it wrong. So Jess is going to help me sing it. So don't worry. <clears throat> I'm fine usually. Are you ready? Which, which note do you want? <laughs> you hand me a note. Oh, <laughs> Go on. And again. Oh, one, two, three. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord. So let's sing that together. Now I know it. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Knit my heart to you, that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forevermore. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord. For great is your steadfast love toward me, for you have delivered my soul from the depths of the grave. O oh God, the proud rise up against me, and a ruthless horde seek after my life. They have not set you before their eyes. All oh, nations you have made shall come and worship you, O oh Lord. But you, Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and full of kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy upon me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a token of your favour that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed because you, O Lord, have helped and comforted me. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord. Beautiful. Well, we've got a new song to learn, so I think I need everybody, or certainly need all four of us, because there's four parts. Are you okay, Rose, to come over? You're going to sit there. All right. Okay. Fair enough. So this is a this is a song we've done. I got it from Fauna actually, but we've done it at Barrack, and, it, and it, it's great. So it's all about freedom, um, and it's in a round. So we'll we'll sing it together through first, so you can so you can get it. So, mm. This old freedom train is such a long time in a coming Now there's none that can't afford it So you come and climb aboard it singing Freedom, doot, doot, gonna have Freedom, doot, doot, gonna have freedom Freedom, freedom Okay, that's, that's the basic tune So, should we split it into two? Okay. Do you want me to do the first bit and then you... Should we do the second should, bit? Should me and Rose do the first bit? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. This old freedom train is such a long time in a coming. Now there's none that can't afford it. So you come and climb aboard it singing. Freedom. Gonna have freedom. Gonna have freedom. 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 This old freedom train is such a long time in a coming now. There's none that can't afford it, so you come and climb aboard it singing. This old freedom train is such a Okay, okay, should we do it in four? Yeah. Last time, okay, so. Let's do it in age So it's after each line, isn't it, I think? Yeah. This is going to be chaos. Are you ready at home? You have to choose who to join. So it should be. Do you want to start it, Ruben? Okay. Uh, and then two, two, then gonna be three. three, and then rose four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unrehearsed. We'll Here we go. You ready? This old freedom train is such a long time in the coming. Is such a long this old freedom train is such a long time in the coming. Now there's none that can afford it. Now there's none that can afford it. Three, two, one, two, three, four. It's singing. Freedom. 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 Freedom.
have freedom. This dog freedom. <laughs> this dog. <laughs> I did it totally wrong. Uh, it's too hard. Okay, that's it. That's it. We've done enough. <laughs> We've done enough. Yeah. I, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. Anyway, we'll practice it when we're in the building. Well, I don't know. I, I, got, I did it wrong. It's fine. Everyone at home was perfect. That's, that's the important thing. It's a great song. Eh? So we come to our gospel. Now, I think on the sheets that were sent out, there was the, the verses 36 to 43 were missing. I, I do apologize for that. It's easily done when they split up the passages. But I've got it all here to read. So if you've got a Bible um, handy to hand, Grab it to get those extra verses. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus put before the crowd another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. The slave said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No. For in gathering the weeds, you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. Then Jesus left the crowds and went into the house, and his disciples approached him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the good seed are the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are collected and burnt up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels and they will collect out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evildoers, and they will throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Let anyone with ears listen. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I learned an interesting fact this week, that fig trees... Fig trees grow along the River Don. I couldn't believe it. The tree that is actually native to Turkey and India, and it's grown in the Mediterranean, was first noticed on the banks of Meadowhall, would you believe, in the 1970s. It seems that the warm sewage from the city um, and, and from the polluting steel mills provided the right temperatures for the sea to germinate, and it literally passed through the good folk of Sheffield, and um, created this mini fig forest. Without the sewage and the pollution, the fig would not grow. Over the last weeks, Jesus has challenged us with parables describing God's kingdom. We've been handed out Pharaoh Rocher. We've engaged in pedeology, that's the study of soil. We've thought about the hidden nature and the value of the kingdom. And we've explored God's secret life growing in us. Our gospel parable provokes a challenging question. Are we weeds or wheat? It's a bit harsh, isn't it? And if you're feeling angry about that question and its implication, then hold on to that anger. Don't ignore it. Jesus has this way 
of disturbing us into growth. He challenges us and the crowd, but then he simply, in our story, withdraws. But on this rare occasion, he actually explains the parable's symbolism to his disciples, which we overhear. Now, I'm no gardener. Uh, I couldn't tell the difference between a weed and a flower. Just ask Jess or the children. Um, Jess wouldn't let me anywhere near the flower beds. The weeds in Jesus' parable are called tares. That's Greek. Um, and while they grow, they're almost indistinguishable from wheat. So the slaves ask the right question. They say, should we pull up the tares? Because the tares, they're corrupt and they will corrupt with their poisonous seeds the whole crop. Now, if I was a slave in the parable, I would pull up both the weeds and the wheat. I can't judge the difference between them. I can't even separate the grain from the tares in myself, let alone in anyone else. God waits. Lockdown has been frustrating, distressing, catastrophic. We ask the question, why has this happened? Life has been, for many, full of tears. But it's mostly been waiting. Been waiting in hope for change and signs of new life. God waits. In God's mercy and love, he lets the tares and wheat grow in us, grow in the world. He refuses, refuses to damage the wheat, the good that is growing in us. God does not force us to change. The Father loves us. He waits in hope for us to grow, to change. God waits to the very end of time itself, to the end of death itself. That's how much he loves us. God waits. We are weed and wheat, not separated. He sees both. He holds both. We are like, we will shine like suns in the Father's kingdom, but such light illuminates our darkness. We are weed and wheat. We can't have the fig without the sewage. You can't have the wheat without the tares. God's seed is in us, but it has to come out, fertilised by the poo of life before it can grow into fruit and give life to others. You are the good seed sown by the good Father who sees our struggle in the world, our contradictions, our failings, and says, wait, let it grow, be patient, trust me. Let's pray. Loving Father, Give us the patience to wait and hold the good and bad that we see in us. Some of what we are is just poo. Yeah. But you created us and love us and use every part of our life when we are open to you. You have sown us a seed in the world. Help us to trust your goodness and mercy as you wait and lovingly watch over us. Help us to grow in love for you and each other. For great is your steadfast love towards me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. Amen. Let's just have a moment of quiet when we reflect on the good seed, the goodness that God has given us, is, has made us, those gifts, when our hearts are soft and open. And let's ask God to transform the weeds, the tears in the world. We ask not for us to try and pull them out on our own, 
or pull them out of others, but we ask God to transform us more into the likeness of Jesus. Amen. So just, uh, I wonder if Rose can go on a close-up of the telly for me. Um, so some of the images that you've been seeing go past, obviously this is a field of grass, um, but the, the pictures that have been on the loop of, of figs are actually from the River Don. So there's a picture of, a fi of a, the river bank with figs growing, a little forest, and a close-up of those figs growing. Um, and I thought I'd just share that with you just as a symbol of God's love growing in us um, even through our rubbishness and in fact needing our rubbishness as well to grow and these other images are from our little beach trip on Friday and I was just trying to capture something of eternity which is another part of that reading about the, the end of time, God's kingdom, just capturing the time, you know, the the, the waves, which for me symbolise God's love and, and eternity as well. So that's why we've got the background. I thought I should explain it at some point for you. So we enter into that mystery of eternity of God by saying the the creed together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm very pleased to welcome um, Trudy. I'm just going to swap over screens um, and bring up, hopefully she's still there. Yes, hello Trudy. Oh. <laughs> uh, Trudy's going to lead us in our intercessions now. It's lovely. I think this is the first time we've had intercessions via Zoom, which is, so you, you're a pioneer and it's just nice to have a different <laughs> voice and a smiley voice smiley face, happy voice, <laughs> with us. Um, so I'm going to hand over to you now and get out of the way for once. There we go. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this glorious day and we thank you for this opportunity to join together in worship. We come into your presence assured of your continuing guidance, compassion and love. We are truly blessed. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Merciful Father, this is the time of year when schools have finished for the summer break. Although many children have missed months of teaching and being able to socialise with their friends, let this be a time of joy and excitement for them and offer some semblance of normality for all families. We pray, O oh God, that you will protect the children and young people who are neglected, abused and unloved. Hold them, cherish and protect them and give them hope for a safe and happy future. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, we praise you for your mercy and your grace. You are our light in the darkness, our strength in weakness and our comfort in sorrow. You heal our bodies and our minds and give us hope. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord God, whose Son Jesus Christ understood people's fear and pain before they spoke of them, we pray for all those who are ill in hospitals, 
nursing homes, hospices, and those suffering alone at home. Surround the frightened with your tenderness. Give strength to those in pain. Hold the weak in your arms of love and give confidence and patience to those who are recovering from the COVID-19 virus and from all of the debilitating medical conditions. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer our prayers for those who have recently died. May they rest in peace in your eternal kingdom. Comfort their families and friends and give them courage and strength in their grief and sadness. And in a moment of silence, we pray for those we love and for the family and friends we miss and hold in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we have heard the message of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that we should love one another. Our faith brings us joy and happiness. Help us to share these blessings with both strangers and friends, that they may experience the peace and contentment of your love. Gracious and Heavenly Father, we worship and adore you and bless your holy name. We dedicate ourselves to serve you faithfully and to follow Christ. Send us out to witness freely, gratefully and hopefully in the power of the Holy Spirit. For the glory of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake, sake of, of your Son, Son our, our Lord, Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Trudy. And I'm just going to pray for the folk that are on our prayer tree. I'm just going to say their names out now. So we pray for Raymond, for Dorothy, for Marco, Jean, Jim, for Donald, Joan, for Jane, for Chris, Melka, Andrea, Christine, Dawn, Sylvia, Diane, Bill, Barbara, Jordan, Frida, and John. And we pray for the family of Margaret as well, whose funeral is in Kipax on Tuesday. Amen. Thanks for that, Trudy. I'm going to put the... Is Reuben around? He's gone to see Jacob. That's fair enough. So I'll, I'll put the... Our prayers on the prayer tree today and we pray these prayers every day and have a new new set of prayers on the prayer tree every every week it's been a lovely way to remember folk and to pray for them and for the needs of the world Okay, Trudy, I'm going to say goodbye now. You can still carry on watching the service from your front seat. <laughs> um, all you need to do is um, mute yourself. And thank you so much for praying with us. Pleasure. God bless. There we go. Lost my arm. There. Wonderful. So we come and share that peace together. Um, obviously, you can wave if you're at home. Um, if you're with people, you're welcome to give them a, a hug. Um, otherwise, we are wave to you, you wave to us, wherever you are. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of that peace. Peace be with you. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> we get various waves going on here. So if you have your communion handy, your blood was poured out so this wine is poured out in your name amen water is mixed this water is mixed with your blood so this water is mixed with wine in your name amen Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of our hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of our hands, it will become the cup of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, Amen. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give you thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night that he was betrayed, at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his risen, rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. I'm going to sing. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. 
Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we share in one bread. So I encourage you to share the bread and wine at home as our spiritual communion, as we can, cannot be physically gathered, knowing that we are joined with Christ with the whole of creation, with all who have been before us, with each other in our sacrament um, through the sacrifice of Jesus. and keep you, may his face shine upon you and give you peace. while I um, tidy and clean up um, Rose and Jess are going to play for us a Teze chant let nothing disturb you let nothing frighten you just make sure that the sound's up here. Thank you. 
let's say the prayer after communion together. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I just come to our notices. I just want his ribbon around to see happy birthday. Um, just firstly, just to say thank you to Sue and Neville for the CDs and for, to Trudy. Um, and also to say thank you to everyone who's been wearing face masks. We've got a new um, directive to, to wear them. Just to say, if you are, if you absolutely rely on lip reading, please just do sit near the front and just let me know. And um, I'll, you know, I can always remove my mask as long as I'm distant from you for, for lip reading. So just let, just let me know. Um, so we'll go to the service slide. Uh, just to say, we're not having morning prayer or private prayer this Tuesday at Kipax. We do have a funeral. It's our first funeral in church. Um, but please do go to one of the other churches. And I do apologize for that. But we're continuing our pattern of prayer. Um, at Allerton Bywater at half past six. And um, at Swillington on Saturdays at 11.30. So that's on a Wednesday at Allerton Bywater. And that begins with um, evening prayer. And at Swillington, the service, the time of private prayer finishes with morning prayer. And of course, we have our daily prayer online um, through Facebook. And that's Monday to Wednesday in the morning at half nine. And on Saturdays at half eleven. And then in the evening, evening prayer Monday to Thursday at half past six. Uh, this evening we'll have a, a, a service of Compline at six o'clock. And also we have a new service, the, the dial-in service, uh, and that's on Thursdays at 11. Um, you can either phone in, which is the main reason, but you, c you can also use Zoom and, and come in on person. It's a very short service of prayer and readings so that's what's going on on online offline all mixed up over the coming weeks obviously we're looking forward to diane coming back as well she's doing very well i'm seeing her this week to start planning her return and i'm pleased to say she's doing well um i think if we can go to just normal view it is a special person's birthday i know a lot of you have commented on Reuben and his reading and his contributions to the to the service. It's been lovely for us as a family to be able to worship together. It's a real privilege. But it's his birthday today. How old are you, Reuben? Eleven. Come and sit down next to me and we'll, we'll sing happy birthday to you. Eleven, how did that happen? I don't know. So let's all sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Reuben, happy birthday to you. Well done Reuben, you made it to 11. <laughs> I'm still alive. He's still alive, he's, he'll tell you about that at some point, it's, it's more miraculous than you might imagine. So. We're very grateful to the family for helping us with our worship. We've come to the end of our service to a, a wonderful hymn to God be the glory. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Great things he have done. So we're going to sing our final hymn together.
didn't quite think that last slide through, did I? <laughs> Never mind. It was a good idea. Okay. <laughs> the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. I do hope you can stay for coffee or refreshments afterwards. And um, I'll see you in, in the week or maybe this evening. God bless. Bye for now. <laughs>